What's up, y'all? This is Rom coming back at you with yet another car video. Women are attracted to muscular men. Period. All right? Yeah. And, you know, <laughs> it's funny. There's always somebody who tried to detract body game. Right? And, you know, I've always said, you know, body game is ultimately about... Just being in your best shape. Not even, you know, not being fully cut or brolic or anything like that. Because, you know, that's some tough work. Right? But then you always get someone. And I ain't calling any names. Because I don't like contributing to anyone's uh, algorithm. I really don't. I don't like it. Um, but, you know, somebody who feels like, oh, women don't like muscles. Like, it kills me when guys say that. Like, they act like women ain't paying attention to that shit. And I'm just like, oh, Lord have mercy. You know? And I mean, seriously, a simple Google search, man. Just look up, like, studies, women, muscular men. And you're going to find a ton of studies. I'll let people look it up on their own. A ton of studies saying that women like muscular men you know seriously if we just gonna go just doing that right but i'm gonna tell you what the best thing is just life experience the best thing is just field work in fact uh any like a sociologist they would uh, engage what's called technically called qualitative research and that's just field research and anybody could do that be out there like a sociologist studying any phenomenon, they'll just go out there in the field. They'll get in the environment and everything. Shoot. Like, reason I promote body game, well, one, not only has it worked for me, and I'm going to get into my personal stuff in a second, but many men, how many men, how many men have who follow this channel, creating their own channels based on body game, who hit in the gym? When I look at the guys who follow me on uh, IG, when I look at many content creators, some of them larger than me. If you look at somebody like Steph is Cole or Austin Dunham, shoot, they blow me away. They blow me away as far as like subs and everything, but what's the base of their shit? <laughs> Bodies, body and everything. And they getting women behind it, you know? And that's, those are just two very big ones. There's plenty of them, Goku Pump, Shoot, I remember Goku pumping them. They did that uh, videos. They say, don't skip leg day. Picking up women right on the beach. Physically picking them up. Women going crazy. You know? Women going crazy. They ain't going to go my usual way. And yeah, this is going to be a little bit of a shorter video. But it's the bodies. And like I said, if you just out there. Yeah, like I said, my personal thing, I told y'all, before I really, like, really hit the gym, really start building, uh, really still building the muscles, I still got women. I still got women and everything, but <laughs> nowhere near when I had the muscles. <laughs> nowhere near, because I understand something. Women, if you, you know, and it, rightfully so, a woman's still going to deal with a man. If she like him, he... You know, she get to know him and everything. She'll still deal with the man who ain't all that muscular. Because, I mean, you know, that is tough work. She'll still deal with him. Because they'll have a choice. There's not enough uh, muscular men walking around. But, say that man ain't muscular, he got a woman. If he get in the gym six months, this lady always loves it. <laughs> she don't be like, oh no, stop, don't put those muscles on. Say no woman ever. Shoot, they get hotter. All of a sudden, hey, if they had two kids, their third kid about to be on the way or something. Shoot. But if you like really out here, and Lord, let me finish up with my stuff. When I got into body game, man, yeah, like I said, I was getting, I was getting some before that, I was getting some when I was going on dates. I wasn't getting sex to the same extent. You know, even the dates, I had to really get to know the women. I had to really get to know them. 
you know, because I had all the stuff. And shoot, some women, they just straight will go on a date, nothing happened. Some women friend zone me. As soon as that body got tired of those, some of the same women friends on me were doing vile shit. I'm like, oh, correlation. Oh, better, more muscular body. The women swallowing all your kids. <laughs> shit. Wanted like tell telling you to lay on your stomach so they can lick your back. Hmm. I'm like, man. And I mean, that's just, I mean, it just is what it is, you know? It is what it is. And, but see, I'm going to tell you what I've seen, though. A lot of guys who try to just come outright come against it, they just don't have, they don't have that muscular body. Now, like I said, if you can still get a woman, you ain't all muscular, she genuinely likes you. But you know what's funny about that, though? There was a, a young lady on IG because one of the things, since I promote body gay, I constantly, constantly get tagged in post or somebody will like DM me something based on women going crazy over a man's body. In fact, I've said it's one of the things I'll do sometimes just to see how the women, the women are responding. To like uh, certain pics on IG just to see the thirst comments. <laughs> and they be entertaining. Women be saying all types of stuff. And but this one, the one woman, she was just like, yeah, you know, if you need muscles and stuff, the woman like genuinely loves you, got to know you. But don't think for a second she ain't checking out a muscular body. She said that. Don't think for a second. And look, yeah, and look, yeah, I know some people say, well, I've got some women, I ain't muscular. Okay, good for you. Something I've always said, any man, no matter what, no matter what. In fact, I, I'm a familiar, acquainted with some uh, young men on the spectrum of getting women, on the autism spectrum. And I always said every man can't get a woman, every man, no matter what he do, no matter what his weight, whatever, you know? Seriously, every man can get a woman. But if you can get multiple women, don't that make that's better? Because what happens is a lot of guys they'll get a woman and everything good, but when they break up, they might go like ten years before seeing another. There's many guys who, you know, they might get that one woman when they're twenty three, but they break up, but they don't get that muscularity. And, you know, well, social skills, too, but mainly that muscularity or I mean, good body. They might go years. Seriously. Seriously. There's a lot of that out there. People ain't talking about that. People ain't talking about that. It's like, shoot. In fact, I'm going to say something. Uh, there's a big issue. I'm going to address that in a bit. But, uh, you know, it just works. It just works. Women like that. Like I said, there's several studies. You can just Google it. <laughs> Google it. Like I said, put in studies, put in women, put in muscular men. See what you get. I'll let you see for yourself. I, was, I, I can always share a few links, but you know what? It's better if people see it for themselves. But see, what it is, is a lot of guys who don't have that muscularity, they try to say, oh, it's not important. It's not important. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Like, use some common sense out here. Channing Tatum. <laughs> Channing Tatum basically created a whole franchise based on bodies. The whole Magic Mike thing. Got the Magic Mike live shows. Shoot, Chippendales. That, that dude who came up with the Chippendales, that Indian guy. Came up with the Chippendales. Became a millionaire on it. Shoot, male exotic dancers. Shoot, TV shows. You got mail because like one of the gyms I worked at. In fact, before even um before getting into that story, I remember the first time I really encountered some male exotic dancers. All body men. It was it was the first time I publicly sold my book, Nice Guys and Players. Public, the first time I really uh sold some copies. And this was in um September two thousand. You know? Cause I was at it was at a black expo. Had my book set up. 
and it was set up in a section with four crews of male exotic dancers selling calendars and a photographer. Let's just say everybody got paid. And it was such a log jam at the, it was such a log jam in that little section. I thought it was totally crowded until I like left the section for a bit, just go, just go to the bathroom. And I was like, damn, everybody's over here. I mean, I had women standing in my space in front of my table, checking out the guys, taking pictures. And this is before smartphones, so they, they taking the old fashioned pictures. They had to wait. Had a photographer over there. The women, these young girls, they were pulling these guys over there. They, they were pulling these guys over there just to take pictures. They were going crazy. Like, it was a log jam. And, of course, some dudes came over there, saw the stuff, bought some books. Shoot, some of the women bought the books. Shoot. I remember I had one crew right in front of my table. And I remember some of the other crews started taking off their shirts. Uh, it started getting light in front of my table. I said, yo, fellas, got, hey, 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 you got to get those shirts off. They just, they just laughed through it off. The women came back over. Of course, some guys were following them. Wanted to get the women. They looked at my book. I said, yeah, just tell you how to get those women. They were like, yeah, okay, boom. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> she. She. And then when it was working at another gym, now that's when I really saw it because I worked at a few gyms. I worked at this gym, the one in uh, Marlowe Heights. It was at uh, Olympus Gym at the time. They changed names. I don't think they did anymore, but I remember we had a whole crew of male exotic dancers uh, who were there working now. Of course, they paid for everything in ones. Every, you know, we take payment for something from them. We we had a joke, me and the other uh, desk attendants. We said, all right, all right, you just got paid. All right, go wash your hands. <laughs> But shoot, we as as shoot, not just them, not just them either, because you had some other guys in there that looked like they could have been exotic dancers. Women were going crazy. In fact, because part of my job was sales, shoot, a woman come in there, I knew I had the money. All I do is walk her through where everybody was working out. <laughs> shit. And I mean, it was some stuff up in there. In fact, you had some of, some of those dancers. You know, let's just say they were doing some uh, off the books work too, <laughs> some gigolo type of work. It's all about that body. Shoot, when women don't, when the women, the passport women, are going on these vacations, who you, you think they going for? <laughs> yeah. Look, you know, seriously, seriously, who you think they going for? But, you know, I'm preaching to the choir for the most part. But there's always guys who are going to fight against it. But, like I said, if you look at them, they don't got that muscularity. Now, like I said, you can still get a woman if you ain't, if you, you know, don't got those muscles. You got to work a bit harder. And you just might, and seriously, you might find a woman that you click with. That's very important. But it gets harder. Seriously, it gets harder. You get more options. You get more highs walking down the street. You know? Because, now, and really, I would say this, even if you ain't, you don't necessarily have to be like super aesthetically tight, but if you at the very least look strong, at the very least look strong, you're going to get attention from women because it hits women on a subliminal level. It really does. It hits them, it hits them on a, a subliminal level. You can't, I know some guys try to fight against it, don't want to believe it. But it just it's just simply do. It just simply hit it hit them on a lower level. On like a subliminal level. They feel it. They feel it shit. That's why male exotic dancers make their money. Now somebody say, well, they just entertain it. No, they just walking out there. Half of them can't dance. <laughs> shit. They just walk out there and stuff. Just stand there. Hell. You know, in fact, I frequently uh, cite cousin Tito. He trains male exotic dancers, and he has shared a clip. He just standing at a bar at one of those places, nothing on, just top off and some uh, jeans on, and women running up to him, just filling up on him. Shit. 
they just go crazy over it. I mean, you know. And my thing is this. You don't really hate on it. It's just, it's just a reality. Just like we go crazy over bodies, they go crazy over optimal bodies. And I will say this. I'll, hey, shoot, we can debate this. I'll bring the studies with you. <laughs> shit. I'll bring the studies, shoot. And I got so many so many young men in the body game nation. I'll say, hey, y'all come through and give y'all testimony. Y'all hey, have to listen to me. God, I say you come through. I tell them to come through. Shoot, some of them I've done some consultations with. They telling me some serious stories and shit, right, man? But I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to tell you how deep that shit is. Because, of course, there's been another thing. And this gets uh, more... Uh, this is something that's been in the news for a while. In fact, I did. I just recorded a Money Matters video talking about it. These uh, young men out here, lonely and single. Look. And now, I don't know for sure. I don't know for sure. But um, I think it would be a strong, a strong possibility that that number of single young men would go down if they hit the gym. If, they, if there was like a massive, a massive like push for these same young men to truly hit the gym. Not, they don't have to be superstars or fitness models or brolic, but just just become more fit. Try to put on as muscle as best as possible. As best as possible. There's a strong possibility the number of them will go down. Seriously. Now, I can't say for sure because it hasn't happened. But if all of a sudden, uh, you know, working out or just gyms, or home gyms, whatever. You know, more young men really get into their physical fitness. You know? More young men really, like, trying to put on some muscle. Shit. <laughs> you know, getting stronger. Getting stronger, putting on some muscle, more physically fit. It'd probably be better. Because, see, that's one thing, you know, because we ain't have the same amount. There was always, there's always been some men who had trouble, but it haven't been, never been like this. But one of the things, shit, back in the day, more young men were playing sports. Everybody played something. Shit. Because, shit, well, I remember when I went to college and stuff, virtually every male there, I say the overwhelming majority played some sport. Overwhelming majority, not all of them, played some sport. Like, intramurals there were like, pfft. in fact, I remember the college team, there was a time they had a lot of injuries. They just pulled some guys off the intramural teams and were still relatively competitive. But that sports thing, because younger men used to play sports, and that's part of body game too, just being athletic and everything. If you get, if there was a push for these same young men, I would say, like, just open some gyms, get them in there, and do some real work. Like, real work, not posing or anything like that, really sweating, really trying to build themselves. Shoot, you could probably have a whole industry off of just that. Like, gyms, like, gyms need to be as ubiquitous as a barbershop, as a barbershop and a tattoo parlor in some neighborhoods. Seriously, that's how deep it is. Like a lot of guys, that's why anybody um, I do any consultations with, I tell them, hit the gym. I hit the gym, you know? Because seriously, I get, uh, uh, well, I, I can't guarantee because I don't know yet. I ain't going to guarantee. I ain't going to guarantee. I don't know. I'll just say it's a strong possibility, you know? Because let's just be real. A lot of these guys, they ain't getting the women uh, they yeah, just don't have that uh, attractive force. You know? Seriously, that's all it is. At the end of the day, people talk about all this other stuff. Because if you look at some of these young men who are actually hitting the gym, everything, when I go to some of these gyms, got some young guys in there, they're not complaining about women. They're not complaining about women at all. So, I mean, that's the thing. You 
them guys need to get up. Um, you need to do that more because it works. And this is what I would say for any guy, though. Like I said, just work to get your best body because women like different bodies. But the more, let's just be real. It's like the more muscular, more muscular a man is, the less trouble he has. Shit. Like I said, I've worked in several gyms. I've watched it. I sat and watched. I sat and watched. Women just go crazy. In fact, uh, the one one of my gyms I'm just coming back from. I remember I was in there uh, in there Friday, last Friday, talking with an old friend of mine. Now this dude, he in his forties. He's in, he's in his forties. He's married, but he used to play uh, college football, and he's in still very good shape for his forties. And that dude just be in there sweating everything. He be getting he be getting his in. He be getting his in. I remember we were just chatting, right? And uh, this fine ass young lady kept looking at him, and she kept walking by looking at him, saying, "Man, that girl checking you out like crazy," <laughs> you know. And she ain't checking him out because of some conversation he having or anything, you know. She she looking at that bike because she 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 was one of she one of those young ladies be working out. That's another thing too, man. Just on some practical level. One thing with I found with uh, women who go to the gym, you need to work out at least some. You need to have something on. You don't have to be perfect. And you know some of them they'll deal with the dude. They ain't, you know if you got a little gut, you know it ain't totally six pack abs or something. But they going they going to um. You get some like you fit as best as possible. Shit, they gonna give you some time because you think a woman, those women like uh, like guys be checking out all these women on IG and everything. But one thing, they all be working out. They always got some gym pics. <laughs> they always got some gym pics. You think they want some guy who ain't doing the same? Seriously. If that's what you want, guys be thirsting for them. Well, shit, you need to do something. In fact, on the IG, there's a, I'll just say it's a young lady from the Congo. Some people know who I'm talking about. I think I shared a clip of me, like, just doing some push-ups at home during, uh, during the uh, pandemic and stuff. Yeah, I'm an older guy. And she was like, yeah, get it in, because we communicated a few times, you know? And I'm saying that as a minimum, man. I'm saying that as a minimum. I mean, because the shit worked. I mean, don't try to fight against it. You might not have it like that, but don't don't fight against nature. You can't fight against bi basic biology. You can try, but pff, come on now. Seriously, anytime you got a man, you got some men out here, shit, they got their body right. They never had to work a regular job. They get, All they had to do is learn a few dance moves and shoot, they good for life. And shoot, if you look at some gigolos, out here, be getting $600 an hour. That main calling card is their body. I mean, it's shoot. If people be talking about, uh, if people be talking about these, uh, hobosexuals and shit, women paying for them, shoot, because I never, I told you several times about when I was living at, uh, that last modest apartment above me. This woman, she had, she, she had this guy, Dominican dude. He'd be just on the porch. He'd be just on the balcony sometime and stuff uh, with his shirt off. <laughs> I was like, but you had to give it to him, muscular. I mean, it just works. It just works. Stop, you know, some dudes, I mean, well, you know, honestly, they just fighting against it because they don't have it like that. But it is what it is. Just work to get your best and go for it. Don't hate on somebody or try to say it don't work when there's multiple evidence studies. Shoot, whatever. Hell, Jonathan Majors. Jonathan Majors. Shoot, we're going crazy over his ass. They ain't think much about his looks. He hit that body. Hey, he, he put those muscles on all of a sudden. Women going crazy. Come on, man. It's right there. And you know what's funny, though? And this was interesting because you get the detractors always got to try to say something and say that. Oh, you don't really get the women who truly say that. Now, they, you do get some women say it don't matter publicly, but eh, women say a lot of things publicly. And then we ain't even going to get into uh, the shadow world. 
Or let's get into who women cheat with. <laughs> you know, the passport women. Who they getting with? Come on. Here. So, anyway, though. I just wanted to say that. Because, hey, like I said, I'm going to just be real. Just work to get your best. Just work to get your best. But it's just a reality. Don't fight against it. Don't get mad. Women going to go crazy over men with muscles. All right? And I don't care. Even some women. Hey, you know what? Even then, I'm going to tell you what. Remember I was talking about that uh that uh black expo where you know I'm selling books right alongside some male exotic dancers. Cause it just hit me on that. Cause yeah, you do get some women, they'll say, Oh, it don't matter, it don't matter. Hey, it, it, remember I said there was some women in my space taking pictures of these guys. At the same time, they were saying, Oh, all oh, these women going crazy over all these men, something wrong when they steadily taking pictures. I had to tell them to move. I say, look, y'all blocking my way, okay? So they take that with a grain of salt, y'all. Or or that time I was, I told y'all that other time, I'm doing a seminar specifically talking about Mr. Goodbar and this woman was arguing me to death. I thought we were about to go to blows. And she doing that in front of people. As soon as we get inside, outside, just among her few friends, she said, damn right, she got a muscular young boy. Come on now. Let's start dealing with reality out here. And like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm serious. It's a strong possibility if you get... All these single young men, they really start hitting the gym right. I think the numbers will change. Now, like I said, I can't say for sure because it hasn't happened. It hasn't happened. But it's a strong possibility. And you know what? Even if it don't, you're still healthy. So, whatever. But it probably will. It probably will. Because I'm going to tell you something now. I've been doing this for over 20 years. I've got too much feedback. I'm about to go in the store here. There's a young man... He, he, he specifically tell me about body gaming. It's, please. This lady better than most most what most than most of the detractors are going to get. She she a baddie. She she a nice, sweet, very attractive, but she fine. And that dude know he was hitting the gym. He'll probably see this and say, yeah, man. But seriously. It's like stop fighting it. Stop fighting it and just hit the gym. Seriously. It's the easiest way. Hell, even my son. Even my son, because I said one, uh, one guy, like, uh, I don't know how many girlfriends now, but I think he's one and holding, but there's somebody else who claiming him. And another one, she a little mad because of the first one. But shit, even him, I said he was a little chubby, but then he's starting to now get more in the body game. He just dropped 11 pounds in a month, and he's lifting more. He's, he's going harder in the gym. Come on, now. all right? So anyway, that's all I got for now, y'all. But and I'm, I'm look, I'm look, I'm ready. If somebody want to have a formal debate? Hey, hit me up, uh, cause I'm hey, you'll find out about my background, cause I I'll, I'll, I'll carpet bomb you with studies and everything. I'll carpet bomb you with uh, studies, testimonies, whatever. And I'm serious. I'm serious. Let's do it. Cause I'm trying. I'm doing some shit I know work. So, anyway, I'll talk to y'all. Peace.